This is Andrew here with Chemical Concepts. Uh, I'm going to be going over a uh, one of our new adhesives here. This is the uh, Chemset 6105. This is a polyolefin bonder, and uh, I'm going to be gluing up together. This this material here is a material called Starboard, and this is a HDPE, uh, which is a high density polyethylene, uh, and this is material is famous for no adhesive wanting to stick to it. So people usually that work with this stuff say, you know what, it's impossible. We actually have an adhesive that works uh, pretty well. Um, in addition to bonding HDPE, it'll also bond uh, polypropylene, uh, polyethylene, even Teflon, uh, and a lot of other materials too. So, uh, and you don't have to just take my word for it, we're gonna take a look at it. So um, I could just glue some stuff together that you could see, but uh, Watching somebody glue something together, I don't know how interesting that is, so we'll kind of do it like the cooking shows. I have some stuff glued up already. So here I have a, a butt joint. So if you know anything about adhesive uh, joint design, that's not a great joint design, so that's going to show off uh, how strong it is. So we'll, we'll break that. And then I also have here, this, this, these are called bonding discs. So I have this thing here, which is a pull testing machine, so this will yank it off of there. We have a digital gauge right here, so we'll see exactly how much strength it takes to uh, to pull this off. So for comparison's sake, this is just a normal epoxy. Um, this is our 633. It's a, it's a very good epoxy. Uh, it's a one-to-one. -one. It comes in a little cartridge like this. And I glued one of these bonded discs on and actually I, I did a little bead right here and it just popped off just with me fooling with it just a second ago. I didn't even put any force on it. But uh, just for comparison's sake, we're going to put this in the machine. So let's get this set up here. And this is a standard epoxy on starboard. And this material is used for, typically in the marine world, it's very well known. And also we've been getting a lot of calls for people that want to make cabinetry for exterior out of this material. Because it's so difficult to stick to, it has good properties for outdoor performance. You know, the dirt and everything doesn't want to stick to it either. So got my gauge set up here. So we're going to start cranking this up. All right, so we're at point 0.1, point 0.2. So we keep cranking this up here. This Now this is in kilonewtons. So it's got the point 0.8, which isn't a whole lot. So each a kilonewton is around uh, 225 pounds. So this got to like maybe around 100 pounds, and it popped off. And if we look at that, didn't bond real well to the metal. We got total adhesive failure and came off completely clean. I could just, this looks like a brand new piece. So for comparison's sake, so you remember that was 0.8. Okay. that test again let's see how this does and reset our gauge all right we're at zero let's crank it up all right so we're already at point nine we're already exceeding the epoxy. So we're at one point six, so we're at double. All right, so it failed at around 1.9, so that's close to 500 pounds. And if you look at what we're dealing with here, we're looking at the failure mode. Did not come off of the material. Now we have, uh, this is what's called cohesive failure. So that's what we want to see. So that's telling me that the adhesive did its job because you got adhesive on both parts. 
and it looks like it really did etch into the material there so that's much much better that's kind of what we want to see yep so again that's the uh, the chem set 6105 if you're ever working with starboard HDPE polyethylene polypropylene you might want to take a look at this material um, it's available on our website, chemical-concepts.com. It comes in a little 50 mil cartridge. And then you need a dispensing gun, so it goes in there. It's a two-part material. You put a little mixing nozzle on there that mixes both parts as it comes out. Very easy to use. All right, and then here we're going to take a look at this, uh, this angle piece here. So you see this is a very small bond line. So there's really not a whole lot of adhesive holding this together, so we'll just do a little drop test. So a little bit less scientific. Okay, survived the drop test. It's concrete floor. All right, survived that. Let's go to the hammers. So we'll start off with a smaller hammer. So if you see I'm actually putting dents in the material. Go to the bigger hammer. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> All right. Visit us today at chemical-concepts.com.